Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. All right, we're going to do another episode of Bites and Nibbles with Breck today. Today we are going to prepare steamed fish and vegetables in the Instant Pot. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Let's look at the ingredients. All right, here are the ingredients for our steamed fish and vegetables. First off, uh, for uh, fish fillets, they re recommend a white fish. Uh, they actually recommend cod, so that's what I got. Some fresh Atlantic cod, uh, some cherry tomatoes. They say either fish, vegetable, or chicken broth. I got vegetable broth. I actually looked for fish broth. I couldn't find any of that, so this was kind of the second choice. A little olive oil, uh, salt and pepper, some fresh thyme, some saffron that's an optional ingredient and that's actually the thing that in kind of inspired me to do this recipe today because uh, about two years ago for Christmas uh, my cousin's wife who is an Iranian woman uh, gave my mom this little packet of saffron. Uh, saffron is apparently one of the rarest spices in the world that comes out of Iran and uh, my mom didn't really know what to do with it. I'm a little bit more adventuresome with cooking. And so I, she gave it to me and I said, you know what, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll take it and I'll figure out something to do with it. And when I saw that saffron was on the ingredients for this, I said, I'm gonna try this. Now, like I said, it's an optional ingredient. You don't have to do it because uh, it might be a little hard to find it, but I had some, I'm gonna use it and we're gonna try it. Uh, we're also gonna have a little garlic, some onion, some lemon, and a zucchini. So let's get going on this. Now there's a little prep work that needs to be done with the vegetables uh, and I'm gonna have to chop that all up and actually fortunately for me for Christmas my mom got me a really nice cutlery set so I'm actually looking forward to using this. This is gonna be one of the first times I'm gonna be able to use it in any kind of a real setting. So I'm gonna let you uh, watch me uh, cut up my veggies in time-lapse. Enjoy! All my veggies are prepared. I got my lemon, my onions, my zucchini, my tomatoes, and I also uh, mashed up uh, six garlic cloves. Now, I didn't tell you this before, uh, but I'm kind of doubling this recipe a little bit. Once again, I have a very large instant pot and I want to make sure we have good coverage. Also, the, uh, the fish fillets I got were a little bit larger than normal and the recipe actually calls for small fish fillets and I got big ones so I said what the heck I'm gonna just make more right sounds sounds like it has really good ingredients so this should be a treat so it's it's worth it to make a little bit more so just for you just for the record I'm doubling this one all right so I got all my in initial ingredients involved which are the onions uh, yeah, the recipe called for a small onion, but I could only find a large onion, but I chopped it in a little bit. Um, six garlic cloves, because once again I'm doubling this. Uh, it's normally three garlic cloves, and a little bit of olive oil. So I'm going to start off by putting the Instant Pot in saute mode, and we're going to let it heat up for a minute, and we're going to add a little bit of olive oil. All right, a minute or two has gone by. Recipe says about a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm going to use a little bit more because basically this is just uh, to uh, lubricate the bottom so that when we do our uh, cooking of everything, everything comes out well. And then we are going to throw our onions in and we're going to cook them for about two minutes until they kind of turn a little translucent. Keep them moving around here just so that they uh, look pretty good. So they get evenly cooked here for us.
All right, I think we're about there. Now we're gonna throw our garlic in and we're gonna cook it for another minute or so. Once again, just stirring it around to keep it moving. Onion still has a little bit of flavor that's still making me cry. All right, that's about a minute. Let's move on to the next step. All right, next we're gonna add our tomatoes and our zucchini. And we're just gonna kind of stir that around a little bit here. Uh, it says about a minute until some of the juice has been released. See, a lot of times I uh, prepare these recipes just based on what the ingredients and thinking, gee, that sounds like good stuff. Tomatoes and garlic and zucchini and fish. And can't go wrong with that, right? You also can kind of see the benefit of preparing all this stuff ahead of time, getting all your ingredients cut up and ready to go because once it all goes in, it goes in pretty fast. All right, next we're gonna put the fish fillets in there. You see what I mean about them being big, big fish fillets, huh? Goes right on top here. See, I'll get a few meals out of that. All right. I'm gonna scoot everything over the edge here so we get it all making good contact with the stuff on the bottom because that's where the good stuff is, right? Then we're gonna add the lemons. The vegetable broth and the saffron. I'm gonna try and, like I said, I'm experimenting with this stuff, so I don't have any idea what this even tastes like. And once I got all that in there, I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper for taste. I've already turned off the saute mode on the. Uh, on the instant pot so that it's starting to cool off a little bit because next time next step we're gonna put this into pressure cook mode so oh, I forgot gotta add the time too here mix that all around in there so got some good good coverage and then we're gonna put the lid on all right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pressure cook. In this case, we're gonna use low pressure. We don't usually do that. So pressure level for low, we're gonna set the timer for five minutes. And we'll keep going here. We'll get going on this. See you in about five minutes. All right, that's the end of our five minute cook time. Um, on this one, we're gonna quick release. And when the little pink button is uh, dropped, you know that it's safe to remove the cover. Once again, there's gonna be a lot of steam inside there, so kind of keep yourself clear, keep your camera clear if you're doing that, and carefully lift it off and make sure everything kind of drains back in. Because there'll be a lot of condensation that'll form on the underside of the lid. And that is our final product. Let's give this a second to cool off a little bit and we're gonna give it its taste test. And that is our final product. Now the meat is incredibly tender coming out of the Instant Pot. 
as you'd kind of expect from a white fish it tends to become very flaky when it gets cooked so I ended up using a spoon to actually get it out uh, I tried using a fork but a fork it just it just fell apart so um, let's bring this over to the TV tray and let's uh, give it its review all right the all-important taste test time it's not bad I'll, I'll admit I probably put a little bit more lemon in it just to give it a little bit more flavor but the meat is really tender um, I think I actually can taste the saffron just because there is some underlying flavor there that I don't recognize and it has kind of a what I would think of from like Middle Eastern food so it's kind of what you'd expect from uh, something coming from Iran yeah I would definitely try this again um, like I said, fish isn't necessarily for everyone. Some people like fish, some people don't. I happen to be a fish person. I'm, I'm from Minnesota. I'd be disowned by my family if I didn't like fish. So this is this is a, a good one for me. I definitely recommend it again. Like I said, I'd probably put a little bit more lemon in it to give it a little bit more flavor. It's a little bit on the bland side. But uh, it sounds like it'd be a very healthy uh, meal because I mean, basically you saw what's in it. It's, it's fish, it's... Uh, it's uh, lemon, it's zucchini, it's garlic, you know, all those things that are really healthy for you. So I definitely try this one again, recommend it. I'll put the recipe in the description below. Check it out if you're interested. And other than that, I think we're done with this one. So thank you as always for watching, and I'll see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Bon appetit.